I'm saying uh, w with me, it's 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 things are a bit different because I started trading around 2009. So before I I, I ventured into cryptocurrencies, I was already in trading crypt, uh, um, fiat currencies. So I started as an, an investor in cryptocurrencies, but um, I I saw that there's an opportunity for me to venture in trading cryptocurrencies. That's when I ventured into cryptocurrencies, when I started investing in cryptocurrencies. So with me, it's not that I'm an investor only or a trader only, but I'm both a, 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 a cryptocurrency trader, a foreign exchange trader, and a cryptocurrency investor. I've got two portfolios. One portfolio is for long term, and I do not touch anything from that portfolio, meaning that I do not trade that portfolio. Then I've got a portfolio, which I keep on Binance and uh, keep on an offline wallet. When I need funds, I go to it. I transfer to Binance. I trade cryptocurrency. So I make both in trading and in investments. But obviously in investments, it's a long term. But in trading, I trade daily. I trade each and every day. So I'm both an investor and a cryptocurrency trader. All right. Um, you just mentioned that from 2009, you were already a trader. I believe that you were trading the Forex market by, by then. Um, and uh, of course, uh, do you invest on stocks? Do you invest on shares? I've seen a uh, few of your posts uh, talking about uh, stocks and shares. Tell us about uh, that. Do you still believe or do you believe on stocks and shares? Well, to be honest, my friend, I always tell my mentees that if they have any portfolios tied to any stocks, they should withdraw them and invest in cryptocurrencies. One, I'm looking at how old they are. I'm looking at the age. So personally, I do not invest in stocks because stocks, they are too much of a long term for me and I'm still young. There's a lot of things I must achieve in my young age and I can't achieve them while waiting for a stock to perform better in the next coming 10 to 20 years time. I can't. Stocks are a good investments, but for they are for the extreme long term, which I I I I I I I'm I'm not really comfortable in investing in stocks. So hence I moved 100 percent of my portfolio from stocks and any other investment into cryptocurrencies because one cryptocurrencies have the volatility that I need for me to make money. Two, it doesn't take long to make money in cryptocurrencies. You can imagine I started investing in 2014, but by 2017, I already made 1.2 million rands. So it, 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 in cryptocurrencies, you don't, have, you don't have to wait that long. So it's not that I'm saying cryptocurrencies are better than stocks. No, I'm not saying that. I'm only saying cryptocurrencies do give me the volatility that I need for my crypto assets to perform the best over a period of time. And that period of time is not even five years. In three years time, we start seeing some, you know, fair moves in the market that maybe we are coming out of the bear market into a bullish market or out of a bear market into an accumulation phase. Because we were, we were in a bear market now, not long ago. But we've moved now from a bear market. We are into an accumulation phase where we are moving up and down for the six and thirty and thirty-seven thousand dollars, meaning we are about to venture into a full-blown cryptocurrency bull market between the the, the twenty twenty-three and twenty twenty-four phase. Uh, while while we're still on the topic, uh, is there any other market at this present moment? that can actually amount to cryptocurrency market, to blockchain market. Is there any other market where people can make money? You know, I know periodically there are some, um, you know, opportunities that um, avail themselves to say, you know what, between, during this period of time, maybe during this, uh, in 1990s, there was this period or in like, um, um, going to 2000, year 2000, there was a dot-com boom where people 
were making a lot of money from the internet, from the inception of internet. Um, and of course, currently we see the cryptocurrency market. Is there any other market that you can actually compare with the cryptocurrency market at this pro present moment? I like your question because it, 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 it will allow us to go deeper into most of the things like the dot-com boom. You must understand first what caused the dot-com boom, what caused all these explosions in stocks in such you know, um, uh, a fair amount of time and what made people multi-millionaires and multi-billionaires with stocks at that point of time. It is the time that stocks have spent into the market, meaning that because stocks were, went in the market for that long, they were like cryptocurrencies now because the reason why cryptocurrencies climb in such an, an aggressive amount of rates it's because they are not that much volatile. They are only worth about 1.9 trillion rand right now, where else stocks are worth more than 20 trillion rands or more than 15 trillion rands. So we can, trillion dollars, I meant to say. We, we can imagine the amount of growth that cryptocurrencies will have to go through in order for the uh, cryptocurrency market to start competing with stocks. They have to grow massively. So that space of cryptocurrencies growing massively it what creates what happened is what actually creates what happened in the dot com uh, dot com boom because companies were not that the, the profits of companies were not that much realized that at the point of time when dot com boom was taking place but now because uh, stocks have have stabilized and they've become so much mainstream their volatility is not that wild like cryptocurrencies anymore. But cryptocurrencies' wildness are much more compared to the dot-com bubble back in the days. That's why it's important for people to just join cryptocurrencies now and not wait for the next 10, 15 years because things will start to stabilize then you will need to wait at least 15, 20 years to start making money in cryptocurrencies. Where else now you are making money in three to five years' time. 